Welcome to Statistics and Excel video number 17. Hey, as always, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, go to my college website and download the workbook, Business 210 Chapter 2. Hey, in this one, we're going to do cross tabulating and percent cross tabulation using formulas. Now, in our last video, we did pivot tables. That is the best way to do it. But if for some reason you had to do it with a formula, I'm going to show you how here. Uh, Gets a little tricky, lots of steps and lots of nasty big formulas. Um, all right, here's our situation. Cross tabulation is for two variables. And we want to look at products and region and count the number of sales. So for in the West, how many Carlotas did we sell? In the West, how many Yanakis did we sell? Two variables, pivot tables are great, but we're going to do it with formulas. The first thing, though, is we need to extract our unique list. So I'm going to click in this cell and control shift down arrow and we're going to use advanced filter. I'm going to go up to data. There's filter there right there, but the keyboard shortcut is Alt A Q. Now I'm going to copy to another location. It's got the right table. No, it doesn't. That's oh yes it does. Ooh. Look at that, it's got region. Yuck, we don't want that one. We, we're going to do that one next, but right now we're not doing that. I want to highlight that and then click right there and control shift down arrow. Criteria range we don't need because we're going to do unique records only. And copy to, where are we going to copy it to? I'm going to copy it to L20 and then click OK. Now let's do the same thing again, but for here, Alt A Q, advanced filter. It is guessing wrong. Here's another way you could do it that's somewhat dangerous. You could just type a G there and a G there and see if that worked. Tab. See if that worked. That didn't get it. It's like it's not remembering. I'm going to click right there. Click in that uh, top and you want the field name here and then Control Shift Down Arrow. Copy to another range, unique records only, and we don't want it there. We want it in uh, the cell next to that. So I'm going to highlight that and delete and then click in the cell M20 and then click OK. There we have our unique list because we're going to have to build this by hand, not using a pivot table. Now here's a great trick. I'm going to click right here and hit delete. I'm going to highlight this and control C and I'm going to click right here and right click paste special and transpose because I don't want to move those one by one because we want them that way. That was copy transpose. Then I'm going to highlight those and delete. I'm going to click up here and I'm going to type boom name slash region. Enter. Now I'm going to highlight this whole table to do some formatting, and the keyboard shortcut to highlight the whole table is Control Asterisk, the asterisk key on the number pad. And then I'm going to uh, apply in the home ribbon all borders. Now here's our situation. This is going to get pretty tricky here. We're going to have to use some product and multiple criteria and mixed cell references. I'm going to highlight the whole inside guts of this table. And this is counting. If we were doing summing, the formula would be a little bit more complicated. Let's highlight that. And then this light colored cell, I can blow this up right here, just because this is going to get pretty tricky here. All right, and the light colored cell, I'm going to type equals sum product. And we need to have in parentheses, so I'm going to type another parentheses, see that green parentheses. We need to go over and highlight the whole column without the field name right there. So I'm going to click in the top cell, Control Shift Down Arrow, and F4 to lock it. And that's got to equal this. Now that, we want it to be um, move relatively going down, but when it goes across the columns, we want it locked. So I'm going to hit my F4 key one, two, three times to lock the L, but not the 21. Close parentheses, and we're going to multiply that in parentheses by, and we need the region entire uh, set of records. So I'm going to click in the top one, Control Shift and Down Arrow, and then F4. Move that little screen tip out of the way. And this, I'm going to have to say, is equal to this west region. Now that one I copy down, I need it locked, but when I move over to the next column, I need it to move. So I'm going to hit F4 twice, put the dollar sign in front of the number, but not the column reference. 
close parentheses, and now close parentheses. This will just be multiplying trues and falses. So when there's a true here and a true here, true times true will be 1. Control Enter. Control Enter to populate all of them. That is amazing. So there it is. It got it. I'm going to highlight uh, this up here. And I'm going to hold my Control key to highlight ranges not next to each other, and then highlight there. And I'm going to add some formatting. Control F1 unhides. Control F1 unhides my ribbon. And then I'm going to add some color, maybe like that. And then since that's light, I'm going to select that right there. All right, um, we can add some totals. Here's a great trick. If you have numbers in, in a table format and you highlight one column to the right and one row below, if you Alt equals, that's your keyboard shortcut for auto sum, Alt equals, it will add them all up. If you don't believe it, um, put them into edit mode with F2, and you can check a few of them and see if that works. And uh, that's cross tabulation. You can see very easily and very quickly that these three right here, Carlotta, Yanaki, Aspen, Definitely the most sales amongst all of these, and they're all in the West. You can also see patterns like, oh, there's no sunset sold in the West. I'm going to highlight this whole table here. Actually, I could have clicked there and hit Control Asterisk, which highlights the current table. The way that trick works is when it runs into blanks everywhere, and then it stops. And then I'm going to apply all borders. Now, I want to show you how to do a percentage of the row and percentage of the columns using formulas. Control, I'm going to highlight this without the totals. Actually, the totals are fine. We do want the totals. Control C for copy, and then I'm going to click right below there, and Control V for paste. Now, I'm going to highlight this whole range in here. And I could hit Delete, but I don't need to. That light colored cell at the top, what I want to do is I want to base this uh, percentage of the column on this over here. I'm going to Control F1 to close my ribbon. And in this light colored cell at the top, I'm going to say equals and make sure I get the Carlota. I have to scroll up. That one there, which is a relative cell reference, which will carry through all of this, divided by, and here's the column total. Now, when this goes down, it needs to be locked. But when it moves over to this column, it needs to move to the 29. So you hit F4, F4, F4 to lock it. Oops, I got too many. You want the row reference 27 lock, but not the column reference M. That'll work all the way through, Control Enter. And look at that. We got all of our ones here, which means it's adding them all up there. In fact, we can highlight this whole table here, and then uh, Control 1 to go to num format cells number, and then we'll do percentage. Two decimals, click OK. And there it is. That's how you do it with formulas based on that. Now let's highlight this whole table right here. Control C for copy, and I'm going to click below here. Control V for paste. And we want a different formula in the guts of the table. So I'm going to highlight here. And last time we hit Delete, but you don't need to do that. If you start typing something in the light colored cell, it'll automatically replace it when you Control Enter. So in this light colored cell, I'm going to type equals. And I have to scroll all the way up to this original table right here and get that number. That's the number of Carlotas in the West. And I need divided by what? Not this, but the total over here. So there was uh, 44 Carlota sold. And now I'm going to scroll back down so we can see that formula being created. This needs to be locked when it's going across the columns, but not down. So we have to hit F4, F4, F4. So the dollar finds in front of the column, but not the row. And then Control Enter. Oh, we did something. Uh, what happened there? I got the sum of all these. Oh, yes, that's correct. Because the total, uh, but that's correct. It's these ones over here. I was getting tricked. There's the 100%. And we're doing percentage of rows. And so that is the 100%. Here we can see, uh, so our Carlota, 47% of the Carlotas were sold in the West. That is the row here percentage. Now we can compare that to up here where we did 22% sold in the West were Carlotas. Down here, 47% of the car total Carlotas were sold in the West. That's how to do cross tabulation and uh, percentage cross tabulation with formulas. All right, we'll see you next trick.